You'll regret it if you relocate from Nigeria for greener pasture. Femi Imano speaks. In the candy sermon that has stirred controversy and sparked in terms of beat, fast pastor Femi Imano has issued a stark warning to Nigerians contemplating immigration, cautioning that they and their descendants will face regrettable consequences if they choose to relocate from Nigeria in pursuit of perceived greener pastures elsewhere. Delivering his message during the church service at Divine Grace Ministry in Lagos, Pastor Emmanuel means no words as he addressed congregants, urging them to consider to reconsider any plans of leaving the country in search of better opportunities abroad, a trend popularly known as Jaqua. Emphasizing the gravity of his admonition, Pastor Emmanuel invokes strong language, stating, You and your generation will regret it. If individuals opt to depart Nigeria in pursuit of a purportedly brighter future elsewhere, the pastor remarks, "Come amid the growing exodus of Nigeria seeking better economic and prospect and improved living conditions beyond the nation's borders, driven by factors such as economic instability, political uncertainty, and insecurity." Pasimano's past message resonates with the concerns of many who fear the brain drain and loss of talent experience when skilled individuals up to leave a country, potentially exacerbating existing challenges and impeding national development. The pastor's warning serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities inherent in the decision to immigrate, urging Nigerians to, fully, to carefully weigh the long-term implications of their choices and consider alternative avenues for affecting positive change within the country. As Pastor Emmanuel Simon continues to reverberate within both religious and secular spheres, it underscores the urgency of addressing systematic issues and fostering an environment conducive to growth, prosperity and fulfillment for all Nigerians. You see this whole issue where they go on. Mm -hmm. This issue, uh, I tell you, I did tell you. Pastor Femi is actually saying, as in, he's saying the right thing. He is what saying the right thing. I knew this trav this pastor must have traveled before, yes. What type of pastor is this very selfish because of what you can benefit from your members? That is why you are frightening them. God will judge. Are you really serious? Whether I like it or not, believe it. You see this jackpot that everybody is trying to everybody is singing at a particular period. My dear, it is not all about it too. It is not that easy. There are people who, after even, you know, relocating and after going over there and having something to do, most of them, most of them also, almost come back to say, ah, yes, so the thing with this person, they talk that time, oh, this person really meant it. Pastor, what you call yourself, you said it is not true because you are collecting money from your members. Is your family in Nigeria? Stop confusing people that are ready to go and face what you're concerned in the word of god if you stop collecting tithe and offering in your church so the members can also breathe churches in nigeria is also part of a reason behind japa it is you pastor emmanuel your generation that we regret instead of admonishing the politicians destroying the country you are here talking nonsense you expect someone who has been who has no job or business but had a means of traveling abroad to stay god will judge you Doctrine of men who say they cannot prosper. You just you're just a mere mortal. Say something else. It is you and your evil families, a third generation that would then regret a miserable life for making such nonsensical utterances. You are totally wrong, sir. We have seen many medical doctors doing well abroad than they were in Nigeria. Hmm. Thank God I am not a believer of everything. This one is ninety five percent not true, sir. Well, I don't know why he's actually saying this, sir. 
I don't know why he's saying this, but if you ask me, this is actually not the way, the best way to go about it. Instead of coming out to say this, he would have come outside to give reasons. You know, this and this and this are the reasons why if you do this and that, it's not going to work. If you do this and that, you know, you understand, rather than come outside and you come off, you know, like this. You can't be like an enemy of progress. Why don't you carry your church to go and miss them for that same overseas local predictor? I knew this pastor must have traveled before. This one is sounding like this. That cause from a pastor must be returned by his congregation. Freedom of thought. Freedom of movement. So you don't see him. It is you, Pastor Emmanuel, and your generation that will regret. Instead of admonishing Nigerians, destroying the country, you are there talking nonsense. You expect someone who has no job or business, but as a means of traveling abroad to stay. God will. All right. Doctrine of men who says they cannot prosper. You are just a main mortal. Say something else. But like I said, even if he is trying to do something different, trying to, you know, warn his members or whatever, this is definitely not the right way to go about it. This is not at all. He's not even at all the right way to come out and do this at all. Mm -hmm. That if you go out from Nigeria, these are the reasons why I'm saying you are going to lose it too. This is one of the reasons so do you understand? So even if you want to, like I said, you can come out and say, oh, this one happened, this one didn't happen. This is how it used to be. Okay. Okay, all those things, like I'm saying, even if it is something that you... Alright, this whole, like I said, this whole thing, is just, this is certainly not the right way to go about it. Okay, it's not the right way. He could have started off, you know, with giving reasons and why he's not, you understand. But coming out blandly to say this, nah. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.